Hi guys and welcome back to series recaps. Today we are recapping A Under the Dome, Season 2 Episode 2. Here is reminder of last episode where Angie gets killed by an axe. There we are shifted to next scene, where mysterious girl is running through woods, looking scared it seems like she is running from something. She falls, and their butterfly lands in her hand. On the other hand, Julia and Barbie are exchanging some romance, and when they look in the window, they noticed, a huge amount of butterfly flying around. Meanwhile, Jim and Nori notice that Angie didn't come home last night. There they have a breakfast with the Big Jim. And Big Jim, wishes them a nice meal and goes somewhere. A butterfly started spreading around, leaving a large amount of larvas. Big Jim, wakes up Junior, since Junior doesn't want to sleep at his home, he is sleeping in jail cell. There, Big Jim asks him to come back home, but Junior refuses, calling him a murderer, for killing Dottie. Big Jim, tells Junior to look up for Angie, since she didn't came home last night, their Junior is searching for the Angie, he goes into the school. There, he noticed a large amount of butterflies, and a dead body. Once he gets closer he realized that, the dead body is actually Angie. And that she is dead. At bar, town lady thanks Big Jim for his sacrifice, calling him a real leader. There, Rebecca enters the bar, calling Big Jim for a quick talk, there she mentioned that butterflies larvas are spreading around and they are eating their food. Jim is confused, there Rebecca mentions that they will have a food shortages, and they will starve, if they don't do something. At that moment, Junior entered the bar, telling everybody that Angie is dead. While checking Angie's body their big Jim tells Barbie, that they both know that none of them did this, and they need to find a real murderer also they noticed a bloody footprint of female shoe. On the other hand, Joe and Nori are in the woods, kissing. When all of a sudden they noticed a lot of dead butterflies, their Joe mentions, that if they are dying it means that they are laying their eggs and we will have even more butterflies. There, they also noticed a mysterious girl, laying in the woods. When they approached her, to ask her if she alright, and what is her name. The girl seemed scared and just replied that she doesn't know. While taking the Angie's body, Junior is accusing his dad of the murder. There, Big Jim mentioned that he would never do anything like this. Junior replied, that he is not sure anymore. Also, he threatens Big Jim, saying if you killed Angie, I will make you suffer. On the other hand, Joe, Nori and the girl are around school, where Joe finds out that his sister Angie is murdered. Joe is in shock, while the mysterious girl looks like she is hiding something. Later, at Julia's house, the mysterious girl is sleeping, when Barbie asks Julia, who is she? And how he has never seen her before. There Julia mentions, that she saved her yesterday from drowning, and she, later on, she went missing. There, Barbie mentions that they found a female footprint, besides Angie's dead body, suggesting that maybe the mysterious girl is a murderer. There they spotted, a huge black smoke from a nearby field, when they went there, they spotted Rebecca burning a field of wheat. When asked, why are you burning the field, she mentions that larvas will destroy all of our food. On the other hand, Joe is crying for his sister Angie, there he tells Nori that whoever did this, deserves to suffer the same way his sister suffered. Julia is questioning, mysterious girl, where she was last night and can you remember anything? The mysterious girl, said promise you will protect me? To which Julia replied, you can trust me. She said she was at school and saw a murderer. Meanwhile, Rebecca is burning the fields, when Big Jim asks her, why are you burning the fields, she replied that butterfly eggs are everywhere. And if they don't do something, they will be left without the food. Big Jimmy, replied that this is the test, and the dome is testing them for some reason. On the other hand, Julia goes to Sam, telling him they found the mysterious girl. There, she also mentions that a young woman named Angie is murdered. Sam seems surprised and wanted to show something to Angie. Telling her, that all these things are somehow connected. There, he goes for a drawing book, and shows Julia a picture. Of girl looking similar to the one that was found. Telling her that, that picture is made by his dead sister 20 years ago. On the other side, Jim, Barbie, and Rebecca are preparing the airplane for pesticides. There Jim mentions that he will drive the airplane, since he owns the town. But, Barbie is quicker and steals the airplane. There, Barbie showed pretty good skills with the airplane, but his lack of land knowledge in the dome, made him almost crash. While he was about to crash, he was left without fuel. Their Big Jim tells Barbie to press the button underneath. And when he did so, he gets some extra fuel. Barbie lands, successfully, and thanks to Big Jimmy for saving his life. At hospital, Uncle Sam came to see Angie's body, since he is the only person with medical training. But Junior is protecting it, there they have a conversation about Junior's mother, where Sam said, that he is sorry that he wasn't there, and he couldn't handle the pain. Junior understands him and lets him see the body. Also there, he mentions that he saw his mother in dreams that it was too real. At police station, 
Joe and Nori are convinced that the mysterious girl did the murder since they found her in the woods hiding from something, and later they found out that someone left a female footprint on the scene. Together they went to arrest the girl, and when they did so, Julia is still defending the girl. There, they lock the girl in a jail cell, where she mentions to Julia, to save her or he will come back. Later, Joe and Nori are at Jim's house, where they spot Junior looking for something, when they asked him what he is looking for. He replied, that he is convinced that his father murdered the Angie. Joe and Nori said that is impossible since, Big Jim was sleeping yesterday at that time, and, the murderer is female. They also mentioned that she is arrested, making Junior mad. He replied, she, deserves the same faith and convinces Joe to kill her. In jail cell, Junior takes the gun and points it at the girl. She begs him for mercy. On the other hand, Sam and Julia saw that whoever killed Angie, is male. Since there is a lot of, hand marks on her body, suggesting that somebody, suggesting that somebody with large hands killed Angie. There, they rush to jail, seeing Junior with the gun. Junior won't take the shoot, and Joe takes the gun, but they convinced him that she is not a murderer, since somebody way stronger, than her murdered Angie. At home, Barbie and Julia are arguing, since Barbie is convinced that Dome doesn't care what happens to them, but on the other side Julia thinks that everything is connected. Later at Angie's funeral, everybody is there except Joe. And when Barbie goes to search for Joe, he finds him searching for Angie's bracelet when Barbie tells him, you don't want to miss Angie's funeral over some bracelet. There, Joe tells him that. There, Joe tells him that, that bracelet was important to his sister and she always had it in her hand. At the funeral, Joe and Barbie arrive. Their big Jim is holding a speech in Angie's name, telling everybody that she was, caring and loving. Meanwhile, while drinking, Junior searches for his drink but finds out Angie's bracelet, underneath his bed. People, are loving Big Jim more and more and they thank him for his kindness and caring for their lives. On the other hand, Rebecca mentions to Jim that, the food shortage can't be avoided, and, they have food for only 50% of the population. Big Jim is confused, asking her didn't we just save the land? To which she replied, that is not enough to feed all of us. At Sam's house, we can hear loud knocking in the middle of the night. Sam wakes up to check and goes to check the door and, when he opens the door he sees Junior. Junior tells him, Sam I killed Angie. The end of episode 2, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe and don't miss out on next episode. This was Under the Dome Part 7, Season 2, Episode 2.